Okay, here's what we got. I bought a uh, two pound bag of mussels today. Cost me about 10 bucks is all it was. Here's what we're going to make. We've got uh, ingredients wise, we've got uh, minced garlic. We've got a half cup of white wine. We've got some onion, an entire cube of butter. I'm going to squeeze some of this anchovy paste in there. I've got some lemon, bell pepper, some thyme, some crushed red pepper, and a protein shake. Of course, that's not going in there. That's just mine. Mm mm. For sure, it's good though. Anyway, I'm going to break this down real quick. Cut up some onion, do the bell pepper, and uh, we'll take it to the stove. Okay, as you can see here, we've got them in the sink. I already cleaned them pretty good. We're just giving them a good rinse now just to make sure everything's falling off of it. You don't want any sand on any grid or any of that uh, beard hanging off of there. You don't want to be eating on that. But uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to steam these real quick, and they don't take very long, just a few minutes uh, to steam before we uh, put together this wine and butter sauce. So I'm going to take it here to the uh, stove, and uh, drop it in. I just got a thin layer of water across the bottom, and I'm going to cover it with a lid. And uh, crank this baby up to high, and that'll just take about three, four, maybe five minutes. As you can see here, like I said, it's only been a few minutes, but uh, they're all opened. They're they're ready. So I'm going to move them from this to uh, a larger bowl, and then we're going to prepare the uh, the sauce. Okay, those look great. Now over here to the stove, I'm going to add that whole cube of butter. And take a minute to melt down. And I uh, want a good amount of garlic in here because it's good. I'm going to put about a teaspoon's worth, maybe a couple cloves if you're doing fresh garlic. I always use this minced garlic here in the jar because I use so much of it cooking day to day. It goes a long ways. We'll get that melted down. It doesn't hurt to add the goods now. This is the uh, onion and uh, scallions and this is just uh, a little bit of uh, green bell pepper. This will just help flavor this as it goes along. wine, which is out of my reach. We'll have that here in just a minute. Perfect. Now we don't want to burn that butter now, do we? So we're going to go ahead and add in the white wine. Give a little stir. Go ahead and add a little bit of the, the lemon juice. Let's add some of the uh, Parsley. Yeah, I didn't mention anything about parsley, did I? You gotta have parsley in this. It's a big full pop. I don't do it. I like a little bit of thyme and uh, a little kick. You gotta have the chili flakes in there. Bring that back up to temperature here, and we're gonna throw in the mussels. And don't forget the anchovy paste. I just put a little squeeze in there because it's so salty, but that's what replaces actually adding salt in this. I've got about a half teaspoon in there. And uh, normally I put that in the beginning with the butter and garlic, and everything, but I forgot. My bad. But uh, I tasted it and I was like, there's something wrong with this. It doesn't taste right. That's right. I ain't perfect. But uh, it's good to go now. That'll be really good. Now let's add uh, the mussels to a plate and pour this salsa over the top of it. Now this is about half the mussels. Now that sauce we just prepared 
is only going to go half the distance of a two pound bag. Okay, you'll have to do it twice if you want it to go that full distance or just double the recipe, of course. Two packages of butter is all not a big deal. But I like to put them in a big old bowl like this. Take what we just made, drown the top of them. Just like that. Give them a light toss. Left-handed, give me a break. And there's your mussels. This sauce is so good, you won't believe it. Usually I finish the video on that last take, but on a side note here, I've already pounded all those mussels. I've got the wife in here and my daughter on it, and this is the salsa that's left from it in the bottom. Okay. If you don't want to double the recipe for that two-pound bag of mussels, and you want to finish what's left over there on the other side, all you got to do is add the rest of that salsa over the top of it. That's what I usually do, and I probably should have said something earlier about it. But then you can toss this and do the same thing again. Right back in there. And again, there you have it.